430 with a one of a kind docking. The largest container ship to ever come to the East Coast is in South Philadelphia this afternoon. It's called the Marco Polo and it's longer than the tallest building in the city and it's also bringing millions to our economy. Caroline Goggin has was the only reporter allowed on the ship. She filed this report. We made it to the top of the Marco Polo. From here you can see the bank, the link and the city skyline. This is the biggest ship to ever dock here in Philadelphia port and this massive vessel is set to have a massive impact. She rolled in around 1030 this morning. The Marco Polo making her way to Philadelphia. Really an exciting day. 30 years in the making. This is the largest vessel the port has seen in its 300 year history. Philiport says in order to bring it here, crews spent decades deepening this part of the Delaware by five feet. It cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Without the infrastructure improvements that were uh, funded by the Commonwealth, and federal uh, delegation support from Congress for the channel deepening uh, today wouldn't have been a reality. The Philadelphia Fire Department's Marine Unit escorted the ship this morning. It has the capacity to hold 16,000 containers and it's 1300 feet long. To put that in perspective, that's roughly the length of three NFL fields. And if you stood it up, the ship is taller than the Comcast building. It's the largest ship to ever call on any ports in the whole entire eastern seaboard. And being the Philadelphia, it's one of them. It's a huge success for us. It's also a win for the economy. Philiport says this vessel routinely stopping in the city will provide up to 600 jobs. From the shippers to the dock workers that are unloading these ships to the truckers that are moving the goods to the warehousemen. The shipping service it provides will also have an economic impact of up to $81 million a year. The vessel will be used to bring goods from the Asian markets to the U.S. And officials say in the process it will put Philadelphia on the map. It's a huge success for the Delaware River and the whole entire port community. Back out here on the ship, we know these containers are set to carry all kinds of cargo from fruits to furniture. Today they're primarily dropping off clementines from Morocco. The Marco Polo's next stop is in Norfolk, Virginia, but it's set to be back here in Philadelphia sometime soon. On the ship here in South Philadelphia, I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News.